Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the high achieving coaches and the mindset that they have, especially dealing with kids. And I know that this is a very popular topic that coaches struggle with. I see a lot of coaches ask me, they say, hey Ben, you know, these kids that I'm training, they're not motivated, they don't wanna be there, I feel like I'm babysitting them, I feel like, you know, I'm wasting my time. And to be blunt, you are wasting your time. Uh, you're wasting your time because you don't have the respect of the kids and you want the respect from them. And I'm gonna be, again, very blunt in this video, but I'm gonna show you how to attract kids who are motivated, that do wanna train with you, that do respect you. This way, when you are training them, you enjoy it, number one. That's the whole reason why you start a business, is because you like coaching, right? And if you are training kids who don't want to be around you, it's not gonna be enjoyable. But you wanna have more enjoyment, okay? You wanna have more respect. And ultimately, you wanna be more fulfilled. Like when you're training kids who want to be around you, you are more fulfilled because they're going to see better results, okay? So let's break this down very simple, okay? Number one, if you are training kids who don't wanna be around you and they don't respect you, you feel like they're not motivated, it's because you haven't set the tone with them. And you can set the tone with them very early on and it actually it can happen before you even meet them. And that's personally what I do. I have an application process. First, it's with parents. And I make sure that they're the right type of parents before I even let their kid see me in person. And I have a series of questions I ask. If you click on this button up here, I have a detailed script that I go through every single time I talk to parents over the phone or in person, and that pre-qualifies them into an evaluation session. And that's where I determine, is this kid the right fit or not? And again, I set the tone with the parents about their kids before I even see them. And that allows me to make sure that this kid actually wants to be around me. And that happens on day one. And to add to that, even, even if someone, let's say I have a kid that comes and trains with me one time and they, I feel like they're the right fit, they're committed, and maybe they were just like acting that day, they didn't, they're not really like that, <laughs> and they're not really like that for a long period of time, then step two is you need to design your program in a way where those kids are actually committing and the parents are, are committing on paper stating that they are committed, okay? And here's what I'm talking about. You can have a contract that is set up where the kids actually have to sign it. They know what your expectations are. So a serious kid is gonna sign that. A kid who's like, oh, I don't really wanna do this for a year. Um, I just kinda wanna go play basketball or soccer or baseball. Um, if they're doing it half-assed where they don't really care, they're not gonna sign that. And the parents won't either because they know their kids don't really wanna do it. And so having that contract in place states that the kid is committed and the parents are committed. When you have that, then you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to motivate this kid because that kid is already motivated and what you need to do with them is just build more discipline. You just need to have that discipline in place. So this way, you know, they're fired up to train with you. They're fired up to do things on their own. But having that contract in place, that allows you to weed out all the kids who don't deserve to train with you. And you know, I hate saying that here on YouTube, but like, I know for me, not every kid deserves to train with me. Like, that's just flat out. If they don't have the right mindset, if they're not fired up to train, if they don't wanna be there, I don't wanna be there either. And I know for you, no matter how much you love coaching, there's always gonna be those kids who aren't motivated, they don't wanna be there, and you feel like you're babysitting. And again, if that's happening, you have to look at yourself in the mirror and know that it's your fault because you are attracting those types of kids in your program. And by having the standards in place, by having a, a set up process to follow when you talk to parents to make sure they're committed and then you have a contract in place, that solidifies this and it becomes a system which allows you to train kids who want to be in your program. And remember, the kids who wanna be there, they will always get the results. The kids who don't wanna be there, the ones who don't give a crap about you and in your program, they're just gonna be a distraction for you. They're gonna be a headache. And that's gonna be a nuisance for you and your business. You want 
to have those kids who want to be around you. That's it for today's video. If you want to click on this button up here, that takes you to a page where I can show you piece by piece how to help you one-on-one -on -one with your business. Um, hit any of the links in the description below. We have a ton of resources for you. If you're just starting your business, if you want to get to that next level, just go down below. Um, and also, if you have any questions, comment. I'll be here to help you out. That's it. Catch you later. Thank you.